Hey guys, I'm back with my new equipment. Basically, it's actually just my iPhone now. I'm back with that. I got a tripod. I can do this at home. It's going to be much easier for me. Hopefully, I can make a lot more videos a lot faster now. And we're going to start it off with something big. This is my personal knot that I invented called the Krasny Hourglass. I just added Krasny to kind of sign it. The Hourglass is sufficient, but Krasny Hourglass, if you uh, want to tell your friends, I'd like some credit. Thanks. Watch this. First, we start with a forehand hand knot. This is easy. So you go around like this, you go around the back, you go around the front to make a loop, and then you go through that loop. This is one of the easiest knots to tie. Uh, it creates an asymmetrical, narrow knot. This is one of my favorite knots to wear loose. And by loose, I mean if you want to just loosen it up, unbutton your top button, and kind of just be casual, this one works great. Now that we have this, we can put a collar down. We don't need that anymore because the rest of the knot is tied with the little end. Basically, this is a double knot. You've got a big end knot and you're going to have a little end knot. You're going to just wrap it around here and tie a knot in the back. That's all you're really going to do. But here's what's important. When you go around, you've got to make sure that the seam side is down because you don't want the seam to, seam to be showing. If I just haphazardly grab this and pull it around, I'll end up with a seam right here. No good. What you want to do is you want to make sure the seam is pointed outside when you loop around. How do you do that? Well, here's what you're going to do. This is me showing you. I'm doing this in the back, but I'm showing you. I'm going to put my finger on here. Oh, like this. Like, okay, so I'm putting my finger on here, and then I'm going to loop this around. See that 90 degree bend I'm doing? I've just reversed this. But now take that, let me just, see I got it right here, around the back, and then pull it all the way up so it's here. So here's my 90 degree bend right back here. And go around. Take this finger and keep that, keep that together. And then basically, you're just going to stick this end in there and make a, t make a knot. You're basically just tying a knot around the big end. You'll see the knot kind of is all the way down here. It's okay. It's keep it loose and kind of just massage it around. It'll work. Just tug it through. Massage it. Tug it. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Now, I like to leave a little, a little bit of a bar right here to separate the two knots, but people have said they like it better when it's connected. That's fine. Either way works. I'm happy with both. So there you go. Now, if you're, I'm a shorter, I'm a shorter person. So for me, often I have enough little end to stick into my loop. But if you don't, you know, you might have to get a vest. You tall guys, you got to get some vests or some suits. You have to because if you want to tie these fancy knots that eat up a lot of fabric, you got to cover up so the little end doesn't dangle. Or you know, get a tie clip. You could tie clip it on it. Put a tie clip right here, right here. So yeah, this is uh, the hourglass. I hope you like it. Uh, you know, it takes a little bit of practice to get the, this thing down to be right, but you know, try it four or five times. You should have it no problem after that. And it's quite unique looking. It's not a knot you can mistake for like somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. You definitely know what you're doing if you're tying two knots. You don't accidentally tie two tie knots. Whoops. Try doing it on purpose. It's hard enough, you know? So dress for success. Send me some pictures. Let me see what you're doing. Thanks a lot.